day gardening friends today i am going to be finishing up this little walkway entrance area to my front door um, i just want to line it with some similar stones i bought these at canlock just um here in ottawa and i found um that they have a rough edge just like my old ones do but a flat surface on top and um they were totally the wrong size though so i had canlock cut them to the measurements that I figured out over here and I actually got measurements almost perfect <laughs> but you'll see that in the end once I put them on. Now I can't put them on just on the dirt right now um, because right you're supposed to have a compacted gravel and then you're supposed to have some sort of like leveling sand so I did get those items let me show you. So as you can see here my grass is a bit on a slope like it comes down here towards the street, but it's higher here than my walkway path. So I'm going to try to cut out some of this so that all the water doesn't come back into this edging work and just try to slope it a little bit better, control that. And then inside here, um, there is already a layer of gravel and some soil has just kind of pushed itself. I put these on top just to see um, the height I need and like the extra inches I need of leveling sand. So I'm just going to remove all of this soil to show the gravel that's under there from the uh, contractors who put this in. And basically um, I'm going to end up having a garden. I'm not sure if I'm going to come out from here or just start it on this corner, but the garden's going to have kind of like a path like a um, you know not hard edges <laughs> right <laughs> kind of like soft edges and it's going to go right around this corner here and then the plants i'm going to put in here are going to mirror what i have on this side oh yeah this is what i bought at home depot limestone screening this was recommended um to put on top of the gravel as a leveling base so that's what I'm so gonna use. the plants I'm putting on this side will kind of mirror here, but I'm gonna, instead of putting limelight hydrangeas, I'm gonna put uh, five or six bobo hydrangeas, which bloom a little bit earlier. And then I'm going to mirror the heucheras. Um, yeah, I know, I still have to get two more caramel heucheras over here. These sides are gonna match, and it's gonna be more of a formal look in the front yard. These are the tools I'm using to dig up some grass. I have an edger. I have a fork, so that will, maybe, I might use that, I don't know. I've only ever used an edger before. I have this to um, turn up the soil, if it's a little compacted from the stones on them. And I have this to sweep away any extra soil, my trusty gloves, and a million of these leaf bags because uh, disposing of soil is, and like grass, sod, whatever, is uh, not easy. I don't have a trailer, I don't want to bring it to the dump and pay, so I'm just going to put a um, certain heavy amount of sod in each bag and just put them to the curb and the garbage people will pick them up, which is great of them because they already did that with, this, with the soil I removed from here. So I tested that out <laughs> on Thursday night, I was like, are they going to pick this up? And then sure enough they did, as long as it's not too heavy, it's fine. Let's get started.
it looks great. I think it's pretty level. I mean, we'll see when the soil settles and everything like that and the sand settles. I don't know. I did the best I could on the slope, but it's not perfect. Um, as you can see right here, the ground level is still pretty much, pff, I would say almost exactly the same height as the coping stones. Oh yeah, I found out they're called coping, not capping. I mean, wouldn't they be called cap? Anyways, <laughs> uh, so I didn't, I, it was hurting so much to take that sod out that um, what I think I'm gonna do instead, because I can't just keep plopping a bunch of sod in bags over there, is I'm going to do the lasagna layering method to decompose all this grass in the flower bed of the shape that I want, and I'll do that another day. But um, I'm gonna put like newspaper and cardboard down and um, secure it with like, um, just like my extra bricks that I have. And then once this all decomposes by the probably only end of the summer, I can kind of rake it out and slope it a little bit better, a bit more um, amenable. Cause it's so rooted. Like, I don't know if these are tree roots or something uh, from the past. I don't know, but they are, it's so hard to move the soil at the moment. Uh, so it's just a big, difficult job. But besides that, um, I'm going, I mean, it's so much lighter than this, but hey, it's what I could find. So these were actually um, 12 inches and I just needed them to be nine inches. And even though these are eight inches, I, when I measured it, I wanted it to come in a little bit more so that this edge is flat. So I made it nine inches and it ended up being perfect. So I was like, yay me, because I kind of was guessing. And here um, I, this is the part where I didn't measure properly. I don't know what happened here, but I missed like a huge gap. Like they didn't have to cut this one so short. It could have gone in, but I do have this spare one. And what I think I'll do with it is I will cut, chisel it, <laughs> bring it to the store. I don't know, but I'm gonna make this shape here. And then I fill this in with bricks. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It's like a little awkward little corner here. So I think it's looking pretty good. I put some of that polymeric sand or whatever you call it. I can never get the name right. Uh, right here in this like gray black kind of color that actually my my neighbor Wes loaned me, or not loaned me, gave me some of that stuff, which was very nice of him. Cause I only had the brown color for my back yard. And so I think that filled in the crack nicely. Like the other um, contractor that did this stuff, he put like a huge gap here. So it's not like, you know, it's fine. That is all for today. My muscles hurt <laughs> and um, I'm probably just gonna relax in the backyard for now, but one last update. Um, I did go to Home Depot to get the, you know, the leveling sand stuff, limestone something. And what I found were these really cute begonias. Look at them. They're kind of like an orange coral. And I thought, okay, that's the pop of color I need. Hopefully they spread out, obviously. I bought three, I plop them in. I think that looks real cute. So I think I'm happy with the front now. Um, I just have to <laughs> get rid of this grass, so much grass. So we'll see you in the next video and um, hopefully you have a wonderful weekend. And my next video is going to be a little tour of the backyard. See you then.